What's up everybody, I told you I was gonna do a night video on the Porsche Panamera Turbo. That's exactly what we're doing. It's sitting right there all lit up. So uh, briefly tonight, I won't make the video too long because like I always tell y'all, the dealerships close at nine and it's already passing after 8.30. But I'll show you what I can and uh, let's take a look at the Panamera. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling right now. So thank you for again for uh, clicking in on my night videos with Charleston Car videos and Stokes Volkswagen here tonight. Again, this is a, uh, it's not a brand new Panamera, it was just traded in, but it is a 2014 with around 13,000 miles, really low mileage. So uh, anyways, let's take a look. Well, first off, headlights, man, they're looking pretty good, right? Got those big projector bulbs, one there, one there. Looks like that's a LED light that's kind of nudged up in that little area there. And then these daytime running lights that look really cool. You know, I'm assuming those are LED. I don't think those are LED there. I mean, again, this is a 2014 model. That's why I need y'all's help on YouTube to let me know, what do you think? Are they LED or not? I can always do some research before I put the video up. But um, sometimes I catch these cars on the fly out here on the car lot. And uh, like this one's a $99,000 car that we're selling it for. And uh, I figured why not go ahead and do a night video while I'm still here tonight after doing the Atlas launch party for the new Atlas that's sitting in the showroom. So anyways, as you can see, headlights look good. Bumper lights look good. Even this lights up here, which is pretty slick. Let's see what we got going on in the rear. Now being a luxury vehicle like this, it's got to have some fancy lighting. Well of course you do got your LED tail lights. Take a look at that. Looking good. Those are also LED right under here, near your backup camera. Let's take a look at some of the other lights. What we'll have to do is put our flashers on to uh, be able to take advantage of that. And uh, wow, when you open your door with the headlights on, does it have a puddle light? Now it's not an SUV, so I wouldn't think it does. There actually is a light right there. It's not cutting on right now though. There's even a camera right there. You got some lights right here. That's illuminated. This is all illuminated. Your interior is pretty sweet, but let's go ahead and Go ahead and cut on our flashers if we can find them. A lot of buttons inside the Porsche Panamera. Where is our, there it is, right there. So we got our flashers on. We're gonna come back to the interior in just a second. Uh, but headlights are on. That puddle light should light up on that side. Either the light bulb is out, or uh, I'm gonna go check the passenger side. So as you can see, that big side marker light blinks with you when you're trying to get over. You don't have a big light strip on your rear or on your mirror there. Those light up nicely down there, as you can see. As you can notice, when that's blinking, the other part of the light is off. Curious of what that is? I gotta know. I'm gonna hit the brights and see what we got going on there. See if this is the, yeah, so brights, you push that forward. It's got to be your bright. No, actually. It just got brighter. Again, what is that light that sits right in that area there? It's a little tough to see. I'm not exactly sure. Let's take a look. Let's cut these off. Maybe if the fog lights are off, maybe we'll be able to tell. I don't know, just trying different things. Let's take a look. Still, that light is off. I do not know exactly what that is for. Let's take a look over here and see if that puddle light, does the puddle light cut on? No, it does not. So maybe there's a switch or something for that light under there. It doesn't cut on. Let's take a look in the back. You definitely know those are LED. Hey, Brad, can you hit the brakes? That's pretty. Huge light there. And then off the brake. Tap on the brakes like off and on. 
Okay, all right. All right, that's good to know. Okay, so, okay, cool. Do that, hit the brake one more time. All right, pretty sweet, thank you. So as you can see there, that light lights up there, the brake light lights up, that's pretty sweet. Now on the backpack here, there's a button, you can press this button right here. Let's see what kind of lighting we have in the back of the Panamera. So first off, you got these nice reflective lights here. Then I like how Porsche has done this, where it's kind of whited out on this other side here. So you got that light going on shining down here. And if that wasn't enough lighting for you, you got more LED lighting inside if we can find it. Well, you know, maybe all that light shining in there is coming from up there. Possibly. I, I seem to find that hard to believe though. There we go. Right there on both sides, you're gonna get those underneath. So that's all you got for lighting in the back. Let's take a look in the interior, see what we got going on there. You got two buttons here, one just to open and close, and then one for it to lock down. Brad, rev it up a little bit. Let's hear this thing. Wow. So that's got a nice throaty sound to it. Definitely sounds really good. Now why doesn't this want to close down all the way? I have no clue. I think it's playing games with me. <laughs> it goes down and nudges. Okay, Mr. Porsche. How about if you do that? Oh my goodness, I just did it like that. Boom, close it down. As you can see, Brad's kind of playing around with the suspension. Whoa. Man, if that doesn't sound like some raw American muscle. But yeah, uh, just mingle, I noticed that the suspension on the car moved a little bit. I think he was adjusting something with the sport modes and all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look in here. So more lighting in here. You got LED lights up top. Ugh. That looks cool, this massive light strip up here. LED lights here. All this I'm only assuming lights up. We'll know if we close the door. I mean, this is like sitting inside of a Boeing 747. What do you think, Brad? More buttons than I know what to do with. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons. And um, you got cooled seats, as you can see right there. Driver, passenger side. Rear too. The rear gets cooled. You know, this is one of those cars, you know, you might have someone, you know, driving you around town in. You got real Napa leather up on the dash, which is nice. Real wood. I mean, that's why it's a $99,000 pre-owned vehicle three or four years later. Um, up top looks pretty sweet. Everything lights up nice. I was telling y'all earlier, if you watch my uh, for sale review on this car, this is perfect for women with their doing their makeup. No other cars you'll find other than luxury cars are going to have an HD light on your vanity mirror. So that's perfect for when you're, hey, look at me. I got to put some makeup on, right? Those uh, yellowish lights that are in like the Jettas and the Atlas and stuff like that, it just don't do it any justice for the lady that's putting makeup on. Suede headliners, nice. Beautiful skies tonight. Let's look in the back. Pretty nice little area back there. Let's see if we can get back there and look around. Again, you know, uh, man, it is a little tough to get out of it. I mean, it does sit a little lower to the ground. But I like how that door opens up nice and wide for you. More lights down there. Pretty sweet, right? You got a lot of cool features back here. We didn't even look at, at all this stuff in the last video, but uh, this is cool. So at cruising at nighttime, you know, you got this is lit up over here so you can adjust your air. Um, right up top here, take a look at this. You got that, yeah, Brad was just showing us that cool looking vent back there. That's great. Kind of. Oh, this is where, really, this is where you want to sit on the passenger back side when riding this vehicle. Look at that. Look at that mirror. Now, that, that's the makeup mirror for you, folks. <laughs> that's where you're going to do your makeup at, Mr. Lady. Or you men, if you're picking your teeth after eating a little, little steak from Oak, Oak Steakhouse downtown. Yeah, you want get to you, get you hooked in. Uh, how do you cut these on back here? I do not know but this is really sweet. 
and uh, yeah, let's look at this. This is your your little system here to be able to play with all these buttons and basically control the air temperature on either driver passenger side and the rear. So that's what they call quad climate control is having different four different climate controls in the car and being able to control the seats, the temperatures, everything from sitting in the back chilling on a long ride or just going from business meeting to business meeting. So anyways, that's it folks. Let's see if there's any lighting in here. There actually is. If you can see that just a little bit around that cigarette lighter. And uh looks like the child lock is on. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's weird. All right. So Brad will have to come and get me out. Now that now let me show y'all folks. This is how it is when you're when you're living the luxury. Thank you, Mr. Brad. It's very nice. He's a great salesman. Come down here and do some business with Brad Heron. All right, so that's it. I got to get home with the family. Thanks for watching the night video of the Porsche Panamera with me and Mr. Brad right here checking it out. Come on down to Stokes VW in North Charleston on Asheville State Road. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Let me know. Again, can't get too crazy in depth, but that was a cool car. Peace out.